Hare Krishna. So here's a question that we speak that we should not be cruel to animals, you know. Just for satisfying our tongue, we kill animals to eat them. Although there's no necessity, one can live out of uh, grains, milk, fruit, and so, th- so, and so on, and be happy. There's no need to kill animals. But then what happens if someone says that, you know, what about um, using animals for research purposes, especially in finding new medicines, drugs, and, you know, vaccines, or even cosmetic industry, just for humans? Uh, sake or human life or humankind. What about that? Well, uh, again, the <laughs> purpose is very selfish. So, cosmetic industry especially, there's no need. And cosmetic industry has a lot of animal fat. Uh, mostly it is cow fat or pig fat that is used uh, in the cosmetic industry. That said, there's used, uh, other products are also used. In the medical industry, well, Till about the um, turn of the century, people were using insulin that was derived from the pancreas of uh, bovines, cows and pigs. But then, you know, synthetic insulin was created, so they stopped using that. Stutures, which are used in um, surgery, well, they used to come from, you know, animals, goats and so on. Gut, they call it cat gut stutures, because they would absorb into the body. Well, nowadays, in many uh, countries, they start using synthetic material. Uh, India, however, still uses uh, (laughs) animal-based products because so much of uh, animal slaughter goes on here, amazingly. Right? So, can we say that this is needed? No, that is still cruel, it is still selfish. Then what about the salvation of humankind? What will happen to humans if we don't uh, do some research on animals? So actually we see that all medical related problems and issues and sufferings are coming about only because of our lifestyle, which is against the laws of God. Because we live a life adharmic, against dharma. We live a life that is ugra. Ugra means violent, right? Because we live a life that is ghastly. Therefore, nature, prakriti, is giving return in terms of different, different kinds of diseases. So therefore, if we lived a life according to God's laws, there will be no, this kind of diseases coming up and there will be no need for medical research. Now, having said that, let's look at Ayurveda. Ayurveda, which was given by God to solve a lot of problems. There is actually not much animal-based uh, or animal-based medicine or medication. The only things that involve animals are the involvement of milk, uh, dung or urine. Now even in cow milk or goat's milk, there's different medicines according to different types of cow. A red cow eating certain kinds of herbs. If you take that milk, that solves some problem. right? A black cow eating certain kinds of herbs. If you take that milk, that solves certain kind of problem. Ayurveda writes like this. Right? And what about surgeries? Well, Ayurveda also speaks about surgeries. There, there was a use of an ant, a black ant. So if someone has a cut, a black ant will be used and the pincers will grip the wound, right? Just to hold it together, just like a surgeon's stitches, stitches you know? And then the ant would be, you know, unfortunately, uh, the head will be removed so that the pincers stay in place. So in this way, it was like a uh, surgery. Of course, that was the smallest cruelty. So because modern day life, we live a ugra life, we live a adharmic life. Therefore, we are trapped in a vicious cycle that we need to do more cruelty. Already we are living and we are involving ourselves in cruelty. We are doing more cruelty, trying to escape out of it, which is actually putting us into more cruelty, right? We live wrong lives, we kill animals trying to solve our created problems and we get ourselves stuck in further problems. So therefore, we can never say that it's very good. In fact... The medical, the modern medical industry or the modern medical science got, you know, established in the European Western countries. And after so many years, hundreds and hundreds of years of animal cruelty and testing and so on and so forth. Now the many, uh, you know, activist bodies and animal rights bodies are saying, no, no, enough of this. There's so much cruelty done to animals, enough of this. Whereas countries like in India, where they had been very... Ahimsa, non-violent in their approach towards medicine, have now adopted this ugra um, 
practices this violent practices right the modern day medicine practices and uh, still there is no laws that are protecting the animals because it's a new thing for the last 100 years or something in in such countries like india so therefore there can never be a justification for animal cruelty hari krishna and if we talk about animal testing animal research testing new drugs on animals right to know whether it's safe whether there'll be some side effects whether they'll you know cause some problem actually if we just follow shastras shastras the knowledge everything is already researched there's nothing new to find and uh, we just trust it and follow it then there's nothing to you know uh, search out but just we need to just implement the solution so it's more safer